it's, yes, uh, as we speak now, it's it's still tabled on the order paper for uh, the day. The house is rising in a few hours from now. They still have quite a lot to do, though. But, I mean, this letter we have intercepted from the OSP to the chairman on the constitutional, legal, and parliamentary affairs uh, indicates that the Office of the Special Prosecutor completed in principle the resolution of the matter of the compensation of this staff with the designated officials of the Ministry of Finance that the outcome of the engagement which was triggered by the correspondent correspondence transmitted by the Minister of Finance to the special prosecutor on March 10, 2020. So ostensibly the special prosecutor is saying that they have had an agreement. But then they are indicating that for for the Minister of Finance to show commitment they are by this letter, which they copied to the chairman of the Constitutional, Legal, and Parliamentary Affairs Committee, that uh, the OSB is expecting the Minister of Finance to sign the outcome of, of this correspondent address to the SP before close of business 23rd December 2022. But then the House is rising tonight. Today is the 19th, and today is uh, Wednesday, the 21st of December. But the committee's report had to be approved today. But for my sources within the committee, the minority is indicating that if the finance minister does not commit to this, they are actually expected them to commit to this tonight and sign the correspondence. If they do not do that, they should not expect that the minority side on the committee or the minority side as a whole will go ahead and give the support to the passage of uh, the estimate for the uh, um, the OSP's office. So this is what it is now. The minority is taking their gun or they are standing by their gun that if this is not done, they are not going to give their blessing to it. Kamala, I know that you'll be bringing us more on the OSP subsequently, but tell us what are the other issues that have been tabled before the House? Okay, so just, just, just about a, a minute ago, the the electronic transfer levy amendment bill 2022 has been passed what it means is that uh the the reduction from uh the 1.5 to 1 percent and then the threshold of 100 cities which is brought back has been approved and the uh, the uh Ghanaians will now be paying the e-levy of one percent on uh the threshold of 100 cities a day so the house has just approved this and this is going forward. They still have quite a lot to do in terms of um, uh, uh, bills and then motions that they have to take before they rise tonight. Hopefully, it, it does appear they may be going deep into uh, the early hours of tomorrow. There's also the VAT that has to be taken. But I can tell you, most of the members are coming into the chamber, and it is suspected that maybe some fierce debate may go on with respect to especially the VAT.